I'm just gonna blow on it a minute because it's probably gonna be quite hot. So I'm just gonna give this a try now. Mmm. Mmm. That's really delicious. You can certainly taste the spices in there. Hi everyone and welcome back to Goonie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and in today's video I want to share with you how to make this delicious slow cooker Mexican chicken pasta soup. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make a really delicious slow cooker Mexican chicken pasta soup. So this recipe is really easy to do and this is really nutritious and really great to have on a warm summer's day. It means you don't need to stand at a hot stove when it's hot outside. You can just literally throw all of the ingredients into your slow cooker pot and let it cook away all day. So the first thing I've done for this recipe is I have a sliced a leek, so I've removed the top and the bottom, so the scraggly bits, and then I've sliced the leek into about a half centimetre pieces, and I'm just gonna pop that into my slow cooker pot. And then I also have here one butternut squash that I removed the seeds from and I peeled and then I just sliced into small pieces, so about one centimetre pieces. And then I have one carrot that I also peeled and sliced again into about half centimetre pieces. And I'm just going to pop that into the slow cooker pot. And the beauty of this recipe is you can either have the vegetables chunky if you like them chunky or you can have them very thin if you like them very thin. It doesn't really matter to be honest. The decision is not yours. <laughs> and um, next I have some green beans here. So I have a handful of green beans that I'm just gonna pop into my slow cooker pot. And then I also have a handful of edamame beans. I think that's how you say it. And I'm just gonna pop that in. I got those from the frozen section in my supermarket and they are really nice. I've just started using them in recipes and they are really delicious, I promise you. Um, so I would highly recommend if you can get some of those then please do because you'll really enjoy them. And they're actually packed with protein as well I saw in the back. So, And now I'm going to add in a tin of tomatoes. So I've got one tin of tomatoes there and then I'm going to to wash the tin out, I'm going to use some stock that I'm going to use in here anyway. And I'm going to just wash the tin out with the stock, like so. So I've got about 800 mils of stock there that I've just put in. And then I'm going to add in some beans. So I've got about 300 grams of black beans that I'm just going to add to the slow cooker pot. And then oh, I'm going to add in my herbs and spices. So on this plate here, I have one teaspoon of mild chili powder. I have a teaspoon of ground sweet cinnamon. I have a teaspoon of ground ginger, a teaspoon of ground cumin, and a teaspoon of ground coriander. And then I also have some dried oregano, so about a teaspoon of dried oregano, a pinch of salt, and I'm also going to add some pepper to that as well. So I'm just going to add a little bit of pepper and I'm making this with leftover chicken as well. So I'll put the leftover chicken in later. I won't put it in yet. When I add the pasta in at the end, I'll add the leftover chicken in. But if you wanted to use fresh chicken, then what I would suggest is you chop it up and you put it in at the beginning. Or you can fry it off in a frying pan if that's what you prefer and then put it in. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself a spoon. So I've grabbed myself a spoon. And I'm just going to mix all of these ingredients together. And while I'm mixing them, I just thought I'd say that if you have enjoyed this video today and you'd like to see more, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you did really enjoy this video today, then please feel free to give it a big thumbs up. Everything like that really helps me out and I would really appreciate it. So as I said, I'm just mixing the ingredients together. I also wanted to mention that I have used dried beans in this, which I cooked off earlier on the hob. But if you wanted to use um, tin beans, then I would suggest probably about two tins, I'd say would be perfect for this. This recipe serves four. So if you're making it smaller, then obviously one tin, but two tins will serve four people beautifully. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my lid on 
and I'm going to put this on high for two to three hours but if you wanted to cook slower then I would put it on low for five to six hours. It's been three hours since I turned the slow cooker on so all the ingredients should be cooked so I'm just going to turn the slow cooker off and obviously remove the lid as well and I've cooked off some pasta so I cooked my pasta as per my packet instructions and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this into the slow cooker and I'm just going to mix it round with all the other ingredients and then I'm also now going to add in my leftover chicken as well so I'm just going to mix that in as well and then I will serve some of this in a moment and I'll let you know how it tastes but as I always say it smells so good right now I can't wait for dinner. As you can see I've served myself some into a bowl and I'm just going to try a little bit of the chicken with some of the beans and a bit of the veg as well and obviously some of the broth because that smells the stock in here smells really good so I'm just going to blow it in a minute because it's probably going to be quite hot so I'm just going to give this a try now. Mmm. Mmm. That's really delicious. You can certainly taste the spices in there. And it tastes like a chilli soup as well. It's really yummy. So, I'm really looking forward to having this for my dinner this evening. That's how we make my delicious slow cooker Mexican chicken pasta soup and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to be having this for our dinner this evening and it smells and tastes so good I can't wait. So for now that's it from me, thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon.